So mount and copy. That is DOS is partition one. So let's keep the previous example. No space left on the device. What? Can it be so full though? And also the texture for the texture example. And then let's get the thing to post again. I have the feeling it really posts worse though with this DC power thing. Maybe it has also to do with the quality of the input voltage, stability and such. Really need to analyze this further. As time goes by we probably will eventually find out what is up with that. Now we are posting, you see this already at the ends. If we only draw here less than two amps, then we are not posting, then the CPU is not coming up. But I can't stress too much that this was also an issue with the ATX power supply. So that was a previous old example. Just a little bit less than I remember though. Would it not lost the mouse driver? Okay, but at least a very new example works. And here you see the difference between emulation and real hardware. I'm actually surprised that it works for the most part. But as you can see, it does not fully work. I guess the flickering is a result of double buffering. So probably each second frame is displaying something that we did not draw, I guess. And the texture you see, you can make out here, Lena. But I was wondering already in the emulation, the emulation was actually handling the non-mapped case for textures different than I would have guessed from the documentation and I was wondering about this already because there is a bit field for mip map size and they said if it's not a mip mapped texture the texture size is from some source stride register and the emulation was not doing it that way but as I was mostly working and coding against the emulation I coded it so that it worked in the emulator and as you can see as already guessed from the specification, that's not what the actual hardware is doing. So again, this note that emulation may not be the real thing, at least not always 100% close. And while it may work for some demo, it may not work for all demos. So here yeah, still some details to fine tune, at least for real hardware, but that is for another day. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for all the next videos to come. But at least the uh, Memory corruption is the same. I think I'm overwriting here for sure with some blitting. The hardware clipping may still be slightly off or something. So some of our drawing apparently overwrites the location where we store the cursor. Still puzzled so that it flickers. Is it bright though? Not really painting something that bright. Or actually maybe this is our set buffer. That could be brightish. Maybe the emulator is handling the stream processor second memory location differently, and we are showing here the set buffer content, which is for the most part pretty whitish. Hmm. Oh, by the way, oh, we do not exit super cleanly. Hmm. So then also, but no. Ah, but now we exited cleanly. Hmm. So apparently some detail of the stream processor reset is also not yet 100% as the real hardware wants to see it. I thought I had space for pause. Wonder why you're not pausing though. Maybe space is differently in the emulator then. At least I thought I used space for pausing or hmm. I think the pause should still be in the last version though. Alright, as so you can see maybe the reset code of the stream processor only works every second time or maybe this could actually be um, could this be resetting the stream processor with the second video plane shown? Maybe it's in luck 
which video plane we currently show has all the fine details for uh, yeah now it works and it's not every second time then it's exiting this the front buffer the first buffer currently shown so many details that's it for today